Yo, check one, two, one, two, what's up, everybody? What's good, what's good? What's good with all my people? Hope y'all doing great. Um, today's focus is side chain, all right? Welcome to another Art of Sound show. We do these live every Thursdays, and we're going to focus on side chaining today. My name is Ellip, in case you don't know, if I have any new people joining me. And um, my website is ksound.com. And I have many courses available right now, ksound.com slash ASU. You can visit the site and pick up a course, whether it's learning how to produce music or mixing techniques or learning Studio One here if you if you want a more so uh, course geared towards just breaking everything down one by one, you can do so. Um, purchasing the uh, the ASU, the uh, I'm sorry, the um, the um, the Studio One course, but it's on the a ASU under the ASU page, which is Art of Sound is what we're doing right now. So I had uh, several questions asking me how side chaining works inside of Studio One, and it's quite simple. It's quite easy. I know how to also do this in Logic Pro, but I think I forget because it's been a while since I've been <laughs> in Logic. But um, the simple way to create side chaining, um, and let's let's create something right quick. So I'm gonna take a, a instrument, and it really doesn't matter what instrument. As, as a matter of fact, you can use. You can also use. Um, like wave, like you can use an audio, like you know, a audio, you know, regular sample audio file. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it out, but um, it could be an instrument or it could be a regular, you know, audio channel, a wave or, or or that such. It could be a loop, a sample loop, whatever. But to the side chain and effect is more so, um. It's is routing through your channels or whatever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for massive. We want to pull up a massive. Just making sure my hard drive is on. It looks like it's on. Cause it's taking forever right now. There we go, massive. All right. So say we go. For something. Okay. Something like that, and I'm gonna push this back to one. So I didn't have a pre count at first, so I'm gonna activate that. So, say we do something like that, right? And this might be my bass or whatever. And so I can use any drums. The whole point is to create that, that, uh, the ducking effect. What's up, how long? How you feel? I'm great, man. I'm doing. I'm doing awesome. Let me flip my iPad around so I can see these questions better. Yeah. So we stream it live right now, showing you this side chain effect right quick. So um, moving forward, the let's see. Let's go for. Let's go for battery. Let's pull in battery. And. Man, things are going pretty slow right now. I don't know why. But uh I hope that you guys can hear me. Okay, it looks like you you know, I'm looking at the signal. It looks like you guys should be able to hear me hear me well. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so so um So basically, I'm going to create a uh,
anything. Something like that. So, three, four. Okay. So, I created like a whole like snare bass type deal. That's one of those things that, um, but for those of you that have been following me, you know that's irritating, but I'll just deal with it. Like all of my notes didn't lock in place. I may need to move something over. Okay. So I got all of my all of my notes locked in place, and all it was was just changing the resolution from 116 to 1H, so that it can block better with the with the tempo. Uh, Marcus said I suck at side chaining. Dennis, what's up, man? Um, it's cool, it's cool. You in the right place. So I'm showing you guys that now. So say you go through a typical, you know, starting something fresh and in whatever. Well, I can't really say whatever DAR you're using because it's really like this is me showing you how to do it in in, in um, Studio One. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually, I'm actually, um, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and bounce these two in place. Um, this is going to be my my snap right here and this is going to be my kick right here and then we're going to go ahead and, and bounce these in place here and so typically what you will use the side chaining effect on like most of the times i mean you can do whatever you want but once i show you how it works like how you can activate everything it'll make sense and you can do whatever you want with it you know, I'm not saying what it's supposed to be used for, but most of the times it's used on your kick to create the pulsing effect on like your synths and pads, strings, or whatever the case may be. Or you can use it on vocals. It might be something pretty cool to use on, on your vocal chain or something like that. So so we're gonna use um we're gonna go for the kick. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna delete this just to make it easy. I'm gonna delete that. Delete that in the instrument. All right. So I'm I'm only working with um the uh, the actual audio. I'm just showing you guys. You can you can use the audio form, or you can keep it in the instrument. But for this purpose, this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how this looks. Just using the audio. This the 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 process the same. So. What I'm going to do here, and this is what I want to affect. I want to affect this bass sound here. So what I'm going to do here is um, the, the, the instrument that you want to affect has to have the compressor on it. So we're going to go here, and we're going to add the compressor on here. This has to have the compressor on it, all right? And I'm going to lock this in place. As you can see, there's a side chain button, but don't worry about that yet. Just make sure you put a, a compressor on the channel that you want to affect first because the channel that you want to send from won't be able to see it yet. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So now um, on the kick, the kick itself, this is the, this is the kick. I'm going to click on this plus sign here, and I hope you guys can see that. I'm going to click, click on this plus sign, and down here, is going to say side chain all right so as you can see 
I have three different channels here. I have my bass, I have my kick, and then I have my snap, right? But once I click on sidechain, as you can see, it is it is only one thing that pops up underneath it. Sidechain, bass, insert one, compressor, which means you have to have that compressor in order for it to pick up. So uh, we're going to click on this this uh, compressor, and it's, all of this is happening through your sins, right? Your sins of your kick. And then, your, as you guys seen, this here automatically selects the side chain. Now, here's the fun part. Then we get to say how much of it we want. Now, one thing I like to do is I would like to... Um, click here this pre-fader button is off and on and it turns orange i did a video on this as a matter of fact but i guess you guys probably didn't see that but um i guess i'm explaining more in detail the reason why you want to click this button and the, the or the reason I, I click that button the the, the pre-fader button is so that in the event that i need to adjust my kick at any rate it won't affect how much side chaining signal that I'm sending the compressor to the other instrument. So, but if you wanted to, if you want to do something different, you don't have to do it. Then it did it. It'll be just a matter of, you know, how much you want to send in regards to your levels. But I just turned this on. And this is still you. You can still send as much as you want here, but. It, when you, you when you mess around with the volume itself on the channel itself, it won't mess with the signal flow. You know what I mean? The signal flow will stay steady. And that's that's the purpose of of sending it this way, pre fader. You turn it on, and so now um, let's play with it. And you can kind of see the compressor automatically sort of reacting. So what I'm gonna do is add more side chain. All right, and then play with the attack. Now, if you want to go a stream. And that's when you, this is the point where you turn up the, the ratio. Right? And you could do this to anything. And um and also the other reason why I would use the um this pre here, because say for instance I wanted to just create that pulse. You know, I feel like personally right now, um, the kick is doing a little bit too much. I wouldn't I wouldn't go this route of it, but I there's several things you can do to get it um, the right amount of pulsing that you want, you know, going on. Um, I can take like. Say I can take this. And copy this down to like another another track or whatever. You know, just 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 for instance, if I didn't want, I'm just gonna mute that. Um, well, actually, I can just delete it just so you guys can understand it better. Say say I didn't want the pulsing to happen every time my kick is boom boom. You know what I mean? Like I just want the pulsing to happen in certain areas. Right. So say for instance, I take this and move it down. So. Um, And as you can hear, when we get to bar two, bar two is not being affected. You know what I mean? It's it's not in the side chain signal because I moved it to a whole nother a whole nother channel, which is this channel right here, and it doesn't have, you know, the the uh, side chain signal on it. So you can do it that way, or I think an easier way will probably be, um, well. Like say for instance, say for instance that you want your kick to do something else, but you still want to create some type of pulsing effect, and then not necessarily come from the kick. 
So you can definitely do that. So I'm going to leave the kick here and I'm going to actually duplicate. It's see, it's like this is the beauty of music production and that's why that's why I named it Art of Sound because the art the artistic value just the artistry begins to come out because there's no right or wrong ways of doing things. There was a question that popped up um a little earlier today. I had someone on my uh, Facebook channel ask me like, hey man, you got the the machine in your in your fi at your fingertips. Why don't you use a machine? Because I did a video. Like I didn't even use the machine. I just went went in and did a uh, a beat just based on all of the other instruments I was using. And I used Battery Four, which is a Native Instruments product, and you can still use Battery inside of your machine, which I use it all the time. I just chose to use Battery as a plugin inside of Studio One to to get or to achieve what I was trying to do. You know you know what I'm saying what I'm saying? So like there's just different ways you can do things. It it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this here. We don't need this channel. Let's get rid of that. Remove channel. Okay, so now I have a second channel and what it did was I duplicated so now the side chaining is on both channels, but I don't need side chaining on both channels. So we're gonna deactivate um, one of them just going to remove it and say the second kick here is what I want to create a pulse from and I'm gonna mute this kick because I'm gonna show you guys something so we're gonna delete that um, okay I'm just trying to find out where what I want where I want to go so So I'm going to take the first kick from that section and, you know what I mean? Definitely don't want the last one. All right, so now I got a kick, right? I got a kick right here, and you guys heard it, and... But this is what I want to do. I'm going to turn the volume all the way down. You're not going to hear the kick at all, but you're going to hear the pulsing. Wait, that's right, but I, I don't want... I'm gonna take that out. I don't want that. I don't want it right there. So that's just in case you wanted to create something totally different away, and, and I can like create another kick, like a doing something totally different. But here's the kick that I want to use right here. I mean, according to what I'm doing now, it sounds like the kick is is being affected. You know, however, I am using just the um, what I did originally, and I just duplicated and I just took out the different, you know, kicks. It was almost the same thing I was showing you guys before, but this this would be like if you didn't want the kick to be heard at all, and this can actually be something else, I believe. All right, so let's read these uh, these questions, y'all. Man, y'all talking to me? Appreciate that. Uh, let's go. Let me scroll back up. Uh, let's see. Is there a way that you can be bad at side chaining no it's just you don't know how to properly do it and i hope that you learn how to do it you know what i mean there's no bad way of of being at something it's it's just all about like how you do things i mean because if i don't know you know if you use side chaining to do something different that might be pretty dope i don't know you know it's all art to me uh there is the uh Marcus said there is. I'm not really sure what, what you're what you're saying. Uh, let's get to the good stuff. Not knowing when to apply it or being crappy with your compression. I guess that's Marcus. Um. I guess I guess that's his his answer to the other the previous question. Like I say, 
I don't really believe in being crappy. It's, it's just a lot of times when we as creators, we create things, we don't necessarily understand what we're doing yet. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, me, I'm I'm always dabbling in the stuff that I'm not really familiar with and learn more and just take away. I'm always in the artist's form. You know, and I'm just thinking artistry when I when I do anything. So I don't really go by the crappy when it comes to creation. Um there you there could be there could be like a lack of I don't know. I really don't wanna like stay there. <laughs> Cause I I don't I don't know because it's like you got people that likes to be creative, and then you got people that does and I guess it would be like that like people that 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 don't so that that don't belong in this realm of being creative. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe maybe they are good at something else, but not necessarily at production. That's, I guess that's you know I I I guess that's what I'm saying. But um. I just really think it's just more so learning or knowing and having to understand how side chaining works. That's because you, you, you can't really, you can't really mess it up, but you can, I guess like the, it just depends on what you're going for. Like you can, um, depending on how much side chaining and compression or pulsing that you're looking for, it, it it's all to do with the settings. Uh, let's really look a couple more, more questions and I got another another point i wanted to get to right quick um i'm not that that great um at it but i'm getting better due to ella absolutely absolutely i say keep trying get better and you know practice practice makes perfect um it's very simple absolute side chaining was actually one of the first things i learned when i first started producing absolutely absolutely unfortunately it wasn't my first thing (laughs) <laughs> that wasn't the first thing I learned. That was something that I, I, I was wondering, how did they get that sound? And then I seen somebody do it. I was like, wow, that's dope. And that's pretty cool, you know. And then, um, but, the, but the way when I learned it, there wasn't, it wasn't set up as easy as Studio One. Studio One is like, this is super easy to, to, to achieve. Uh, Vita Heartbeats, what's up? Yo, why is there no volume? Uh, you can't hear me? Did uh did one of your drivers just go out? Check one two. Hmm. I'm not sure why you're not hearing me. Um there is volume there is volume. Okay, and bro, you're you're everywhere. <laughs> uh I remember Elite Beats. AKA oh yeah elite what's up what's up so you 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 change your name okay i mean that's that's good if it works for you um let's see i was wondering what happened man um y'all disappeared uh please keep that okay you guys going in for real okay so one of you guys probably like just needed to reload your your YouTube and, and that's probably what happened because I'm looking at my um, my settings and I I can see sec- signal but I mean if you guys can't hear me then um that's something I need to adjust okay start okay half long you started off producing EDM yeah side chaining is really heavy in EDM I started off with um, R and B and hip hop. When I first got in the game, side chaining wasn't that that big of a deal, you know, in in that style of music during that time. And I was like in the the nineties when I first got started. So side chaining wasn't wasn't something we were doing back then. But now it is. And even in R and B, R and B side chaining is is huge, just like what I just shown you guys right here. This will more so go in the vein of R and B now. This is the new 2016, 2017, 2018, for however many years that this, you know, will 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 stay around. This, you know, it's funny how like different genres cross over and like the techniques and what you what you're used to doing in EDM is now done in R and B. You know, it's like the bridge point. You know, it's a lot of yeah, everybody trying to trying to get to get with each other. I guess finally I have. Uh, 
have trying to figure out how to side chain on um, the studio one. Cool, that's what's up. So I'm glad to be the one to actually show you how to do it. I'm not gonna lie though, the Ableton Live has the simplest side chain to set up. It's uh, super easy, absolutely. Um, there's 12 of us watching, but only four thumbs up. So eight of you are forget <laughs> getting to give you thumbs. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I really do appreciate that uh, uh, vital, vital heartbeat. You're looking out for me, man. You're looking out. You're looking out for those, for for that love, them, them, them thumbs up. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, it will, it will be awesome that if if everybody who watches my videos give me a thumb up. But you know, it's not that type of. I guess it's not that type of game. I actually get thumbs down. Can y'all believe that? People actually give me thumbs down. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Everything I say does not line up with what with, with most people are used to learning or used to doing, or maybe I really suck to them. I don't know, but I actually get some thumbs down, whether you believe it or not, it's, it's crazy. When I see that, you know, at first when I discovered that, I, I, I felt a certain type of way about that. I'm like, man, man, what am I doing? I'm, I'm checking myself like, man, what, what, what do I need to do? Come to find out, it's just... People trolling on you know it's just people they just do that they troll on your on your videos and they and they they you know really show their true colors I guess yeah um, I apologize if y'all if y'all still watching this video and I was talking about side chaining and then we kind of got off into a whole other subject you know because I like helping my people you know what I'm saying these are the, the the questions that's coming in on my channel right now and I'm just trying to do my best to address them. And I feel like anybody that's watching this, they you may have stumbled across side chaining, and then you also needed help in the area that I'm, you know, discussing in this video, and you just got like two for one. You know what I'm saying? Two for one. You you you, you came to learn how to side chain, and then you know now you you learning how to brand brand your name. That's 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 me. That's me. I, I get off the subject a whole lot. Um. I didn't even I, I didn't even notice who you were, bro. Yes, I mean, so like with the name, the the name thing, it really depends on you. Like, what fits you the most? What 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 is it? You know what I'm saying? I changed my name several times, and um, it's it wasn't because don't let people move you. You know what I'm saying? You you only change your name for marketing purposes, it or like growing purposes. If you if you feel like you you grown to another level change your name according to you and not according to people because if you change your name according to the haters then you know even if they think that name was crazy like whatever that's that's who you are that's what you do you know what i'm saying and, and it is what it is and you and you got to be the one that's proud of it you know what i mean like what's cool about this music in the music world you know a lot of people are picking stage names and they go about you know, whatever they want to call themselves, which is cool, and you can change your name anytime. But the name that was given to you at birth, you can't change that name. You can, but when you was born, the name given to you at birth on your birth certificate, that will always be your name. And you can't do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just who you are. Even if you go and change your name because you just didn't like your name, whatever, you still who you were at birth. You know what I'm saying? I just really feel like that. Um, I don't know. That's just my beliefs. That you, that's who you are. You know. But um, this was something else I wanted to show. Um, I wanted to dabble around. It took me a long time to get here, but um, I don't think you can side chain with other instrument with other um. Let me duplicate this, and I, I, I'm going I'm to see if that's possible. Because I had a question, and um, I'm going to duplicate the track completely. I don't think you can side chain, say, like, if I'm using Wave plugins. Um, and really, the, the idea is it's for compressors, because that's what compressors do. But um, I'm going I'm to go ahead and try it. We're going to try our compressor. And it, and it's, and it's, I think it probably depends on 
what compressor you're using as well. Eh, I don't know. So say, for instance, I wanted to come from this track right here. Well, there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Studio One will allow the side chaining to happen in any plugin. It doesn't matter what plugin. I just never, I just never went that route. You can use any plugin to achieve. So, okay, let's mute this. So. it works it works so i hope i answered that question to the guy who emailed me or no well i think it was twitter asked me twitter or on one of my videos i can't remember i get questions all over the place but um you can achieve side chaining using third-party plugins it don't have to be studio one compressor it could be any any compressor of of for that matter so okay seeing that i can do that let's let's delete that and let's see about a compressor from native instruments so let's go to uh native instruments we'll go to fender because that's how i can find them a lot better um solid bus compressor let's try that so say we go for a solid a, a solid bus compressor and i wanted to send this to my solid bus compressor doesn't work that well yeah it doesn't it doesn't work that well but you can see the side chaining side chain button activated um yeah it's not working at all it don't look like it's working at all um I'm gonna try and I'm making sure that um I'm sending it to the right place. It's the solid bus here. Yep. I'm going to the solid bus here. Yep. So it works for waves. Maybe I have to pick another compressor that it it might work better with as far as like native instruments. Um solid dynamics. Let's try that. It might work with this, but who knows? I'm not sure. Solid Dynamics. Okay, we're gonna pick that. it doesn't work with the native instruments uh yeah it's not working 
it's not working with the native instruments. Let's try another one. BC two A. Let's see what happens. So I'm guessing that it has to be a compressor with some of the same features as this. Um, like it has to have a ratio, threshold. Um, this is more so your 2A. Um, but the other one, it had all of those other features, but it just didn't work. I don't know. Maybe, you know. But waves definitely work. Waves work. So that I hope I answered that for the gentleman who asked me that. Um, you can see side chain, studio one gate plug in two. Yeah, yeah. Um, where is that? I've seen that. I don't. I don't remember where I seen that at. But uh, yeah. Um, don't you have the click button? Does it work for five filter compressor? I'm not really sure, but you can take the same technique that you see me do in this video and apply that to whatever plugin that you have, any third party plugins that you have and see if it works. Cause I'm not really sure because I don't have five filter stuff. I would like to have them. I just don't, I don't own any of their products. I think that five filter is an awesome, it's an awesome company and they're doing great things. Um, a lot of pros that I know use fab filter. I just never. I've always been able to get what I need just using the stock plugins and then, of course, wave stuff. But I don't even like even though waves is like more so your step up from your your regular stock plugins. I don't even use all of wave stuff. Like I don't use any of the compressors in there. I just use the stock compressor to get whatever I need and. Um, now I take that back. I do use a couple of compressors, like I use like the channel compressor, in um, you know, in in waves. But um, other than that, I it's just like I use the eleven seventy six a lot. I use the two A on vocals a lot. I use um, the three A on drums a whole lot, and um, I use a, ch a channel a channel EQ. I mean, I'm sorry, a channel a channel. Well, the channel compressor, channel strip compressor, more so on my um. Uh, on my uh my master channel but usually i just use like a some type of console shaper um if i'm not using studio studio one console shape i'm using um um it's uh what is it uh it should be yeah it's it's, it's the nls channel studio stereo i use that on my main bus and um i should switch to like a neve board sound because i like the way it drives the the, um, the mix other than that you know i'm not going to talk about all the plugins i use because i use quite a bit of ways stuff but i like using the vt1 the the rc500 um as you know in, in regards to compression i rarely use Yeah, I rarely use anything else. But again, it just depends. It just depends on what I'm working on. I'll just grab something. Um, I have my go-tos, and then I got my days where I want to try something a little different. I don't know. I never got into the Saturn Saturator. Uh, I could never make it sound good for some reason. I think it just really depends on like what you're what you're trying to do. Um, I have the the sat Saturator. The Saturator adds like a to me, it, it it adds like a, it's like a, I can't really describe the sound, but it's like it 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 it, it enhances the sound a little bit, yeah, and it just really depends on what you're using it for. Like, um, I wouldn't use it on everything, um, but usually, as far as uh, uh saturation, I would use um. Um, there's two of them that I will use if I, if I need saturation. I can't remember. I, wow, my brain is frozen right now. 
Yeah, anything Fab, fab Filter is amazing. I do agree. I do agree. I, I've I've heard many mix with those plugins utilized on them. Um, and I'm just checking through some of these um, these comments and things like that. All right, so um, hey guys, I, I I really appreciate you guys for for hanging out with me. I got to get rolling. I hope that um this video was helpful. It's probably like long as ever, but you guys know me. I I I love talking to you guys, and um, you know that's just that's just one thing about me. I guess that would be my weak point. Like I I can never just go and do a video specifically catering towards the title of the video i always have to go on blah 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 <laughs> i don't know that's just me but my 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 tutorials now are more directed is more focused it's more specific when i'm doing tutorials but when i'm going live as y'all can see like y'all just coming in here just man you know it's like a community. I love you guys. You guys are pretty awesome. I really appreciate you guys for subscribe. Your subscription is very is very um it's very appreciated. I definitely appreciate it. I just feel like, you know, every time I go live, I'm like I'm just I'm just chilling back, hanging with my family. You know what I'm saying? That's that's kinda how it how it is. Um What's your tips on promoting stuff? We could talk about that later, Peter. Um yeah, I could do something specific to um, promoting because I got to get going. I really do. I would love to talk about that, but I got to get going. I'm going to actually write that down in my notes as to the next thing. So um, I'm not sure if you subscribe to my channel, but you want to make sure that you shoot, um, subscribe to my channel because um, you can probably find like some, something catering, catering towards that that question you just asked because I'm, I, I know I hit that topic before somewhere on, on the video somewhere because i'm always trying to um um implement the um the um promoting branding um that type of thing um i'm also on periscope so i i may share uh a, f a few things that way as well um your boy what's up what's up your boy shad what's up hey how did you start getting the connections for TV placements and stuff like that? Did you just start sending in beats or something introduce you to the person controlling the music? Um, that's actually something you do not want to do. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to like, cause you don't want to spam people. And again, we can get into that a little later. Um, so, um, promoting yourself and how, how do I got into, um, music? Uh, um, placements for TV. I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to talk about that, but not right now. I'm, 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 I, I have to get rolling. I have to get rolling. I, I may do a, a, a Periscope. So if you guys are on Periscope, if you got a Twitter account or whatever, um, just search for Kevin Ellip, K E V N E L I B on Periscope and I should pop up or you can just type in E-L-I-B as simple as possible and I should pop up and I'll do a scope about that or if you are on uh, Facebook Kevin L up facebook.com slash Kevin L up you can find me that way as well um, alright so uh, again thank you guys for uh, joining me remember music is art you're the artist paint your picture I'm out of here